Hey, what's going on everybody? Chase here at Rocky Mountain. Thank you for checking in. So today we have our 2023 Dual Sport Adventure Warm Weather Glove Buyer's Guide. All the gloves up here have two main purposes, to offer protection, but also get as much airflow going through in warm, hot weather conditions. So as we go through and we talk about these, and I'm gonna be pretty quick today, but if you see a couple gloves that you're interested in, here's the best advice I can give is, you can watch the product spotlights where we talk about these gloves, we go through all the details, you can read, write, or reviews, you can also ask questions on the product page to get answers from customers who have bought and are using these gloves. And of course, if you want some of our feedback, leave your questions or comments below and we'll help get those answered. I'd also love to know what glove you have and what your likes and dislikes are about it to help other riders out that are looking to pick up their next set. That being said, last thing I want to touch on real quickly is just the fit. We know fit's important, so we have our fit guarantee. If you get any glove that we sell, if you don't like how it fits, send it back in brand new unused condition and we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. That being said, let's get to the gloves. So the first one up here, this is the MSR 80V Air. And this is actually a glove that we designed here at Rocky Mountain. We have the MSR design team. And this is a glove that for us in you know that warm, hot weather riding, really kind of hits the sweet spot. Because if you've ever watched the rides that we do, we spend a lot of time on the dirt. So what we like is just a glove that's gonna offer good impact and abrasion protection, but still give good feel and dexterity on the controls. That's exactly, exactly what you get with these. You've got D3O armor here over top of the knuckles. You've got some protection here on the fingers as well. But when you get to the palm, it's goatskin leather construction. You do have some lycra in between the fingers and that's gonna help flow that air. And what's great about this glove is the price point. You're right around $30, so value-wise, this glove is really hard to beat. So that's been one of our favorites, again, for Dual Sport Adventure in hot weather. Moving on from there, you have the Revit Mangrove. Now, with the Mangrove, you definitely bump up in price. You're going to be about $75, bucks, but just looking at it, you're going to see it's a pretty big bump in protection. Now, with this glove, putting it on, you're definitely not going to have the same amount of feel as you do with that MSR ADV Air. But again, this is gonna be for the that's looking to get a little bit more protection. So you can see TPR all over top of the knuckles as well as the fingers, but now you have this TPR slider and impact protection on the palm. You got some reinforcements in other areas, a little bit longer also than that ADV Air. So again, for 75 bucks, you're getting a lot of protection. It's a great glove. It's not gonna be leather construction, one thing to keep in mind, but if you like the mangrove, but you're a rider that is wanting an all leather or mostly leather construction. That leads us to the next two gloves, which is the Baja S4, which you go up a little bit in price, but again, you can see about the same amount of protection, I would say pretty on par with that mangrove. The big difference here being is that the leather in the palm area. So high quality leather. So for again, for riders that like leather for comfort purposes, or if they just feel like you're gonna get more abrasion protection, this would be a really good option. I will say too, also one thing to know that the fit between the Climb and the Revit is pretty different. Where it was the Climb, so I wear a size medium glove. A Climb medium feels pretty generous to me. In fact, there's a lot of gloves from Climb that I typically might size down to a size small. Where with the Revit, a medium is pretty snug. I've had some mediums where I almost contemplate going up to a size large. So just something to keep in mind there with the sizing, but again, that's why we have that fit guarantee that I mentioned. Now going along with the Baja S4, there's another glove from Revit, which is the Revit Sand 4, which is right on par with this Baja S4. So you can see pretty much the same amount of coverage and protection, but unlike the Mangrove, you're gonna get pretty much all leather construction in the palm. And then you can see on the back of the hand too, again, all mesh on this one, all mesh on the Baja S4. So these two gloves I would say are just really good options if you like the mangrove, but again, you want more leather. These are the two gloves that I would definitely tell you to check out. And then last but not least, you have the Climb Badlands Aero Pro. And I'm gonna be honest, I just call this the Cadillac of Dual Sport Adventure gloves. This is probably, not even probably, it is the most comfortable full leather construction glove that I've ever tried on. They're using a very high quality goatskin leather. And the best way that I can describe when you put this glove on, it just feels like it's a glove that you've had for years that is extremely well broken in. And this leather, what's cool when you look at it, you notice that the perforation on it, on the back of the hand, in the palm, 
the holes are larger than what you're used to seeing. And when you put it on, you can just tell that this thing is going to flow a ton of air. Even though there's no mesh construction, those large perforated holes are getting a lot of airflow going through there. You notice too with the finger construction, it's an out seam style. So when you put that on, it's another thing I notice. I don't feel any of the stitching anywhere in the hand. But even with that, you're definitely not lacking when it comes to protection. You have this carbon fiber knuckle protector that has a ceramic overlay over the top. You've got protection here on the fingers, lots of reinforcements. You've got the palm pad, the palm slider on there. You'll also notice too something kind of cool that they actually, they actually have these little scoops here on your fingers to help direct airflow underneath and into the glove as well. Now it is the most expensive glove up here, about $160, but I'm telling you, this is a glove that you got to try on to appreciate and understand what I'm talking about. Also, another thing I do want to point out is that when I put this on, even being full leather construction, I would say that this glove and the MSR ADV Air were the two that I felt gave the most feel on the control. So just a couple things to keep in mind. But you know, that's it. That's our glove buyer's guide. Like I said, short and sweet. Go watch the products while that's to learn more about these. But a quick little recap, ADV Air from MSR, lightweight, minimalistic, really just kind of a bump up from a motocross glove, but you get the leather palm with the D3 armor on the knuckles. The Mangrove from Revit, definitely a bump up in protection. You come up a little bit in price. But then you get the Baja S4 and the Sand 4, which are similar to the Mangrove, but you're going to have leather construction on the fingers as well as the palm. And then you get to, again, the Badlands Aero Pro, which is, like I said, I call it the Cadillac of dual sport adventure gloves just because of how comfortable it is. So if you have questions or comments about anything that we talked about, we want to get those answers. So make sure leave that in the comment section below. Again, if you have one of these, which one is it? Leave that comment down below. Click on the link or head to rockymountainhvmc.com to get your next set of gloves today. And as always, we ship for free over 75 bucks. We do have buyer's guides on all the major categories. So whether it's gloves, helmets, jackets, pants, all of that, we have buyer's guides. So get subscribed, hit that notification bell, and that way you're always gonna stay up to date on those videos. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.